When I found the college internship program, it was it was this most wonderful, <laughs> wonderful experience for me. Before he came here, um, his whole schooling and life generally had been really delayed, been f very challenging, very uh, difficult for us to work out the best ways forward for him. I almost felt like um, he was ba being babysat while I was trying to work out what to do for him. There was that period where he was doing nothing and I think it gave him time to think through about his future. And he, he said to me one day, he said, Mom, I'm beginning to realize that I don't know what to do about my life and I think this program will help me. And all the time I was telling him, don't worry, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Inside I was dying, I was thinking, what if, he, what if he, he says he doesn't want to go after all? I didn't know what we would do because I had researched all the alternatives and I, I had no other options. We really just wanted uh, to, to, to see him achieve his potential. We really didn't know what that was and I don't think we do yet. I think that's, you, you know, you don't wake up suddenly knowing you explore don't you and um, but we wanted him to achieve as much independence as was possible for his own life and for his own person. I've definitely noticed a huge change in Austin since he's been here. Um, he's far more confident. The thing that was so worrying as he was uh, as he was growing up was that I couldn't tell what he was thinking. He was, I think it was the anxiety and uh, since he's been here, he's become more confident, articulate. He's able to advocate for himself. And the confidence has just been growing. And he's been able to um, get it more in touch with what he really wants in his life and, and to see his strengths and weaknesses, not by, based on what, just what we've been telling him, but he's experienced it in, in this context. The whole environment here is is broadly supportive and so he has been able to step into a direction of for his future with a certain degree of confidence um, and and confidence gained because of the support the encouragement the affirmation and the recognition by others of, of growth and maturing and development in his own life the people here are working in team together with us i don't feel like i've just left my son here and i've got no control but it's more like a team approach where if i have a concern we we brainstorm together and that's given me a lot of confidence because um, I'm not just left to, we're not just left to making all the decisions for ourselves. We've got the expertise of other people and everybody is going for the same goal. We want Austin to become independent and we want to understand where he's coming from. And I think that is absolutely vital um, for him to not only understand uh, what his unique potential is, but also to help him understand for himself and then to experience that for himself and then to make his own decisions. And that takes time and then it takes the effort of people really um, taking the time to listen and, and discover. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges as a parent is that because they're not communicating, because of the anxiety or different aspects. And that, that's why you need a team approach. And um, in order for Austin to be independent, he's got to have that self-knowledge and he's going to have to be able to articulate it in some way and advocate for himself. Otherwise, he is going to be dependent on us. Education for me is secondary because I think that once a child is confident in themselves and they, ha they know who they are, then um, it, it gives direction to his life and he can make his own decisions as to what he's doing. And uh, that's what I see happening here and which why I find it, uh, I'm so confident in this program because it was exactly what I felt that Austin needed.